and welcome to the SVSU Monthly Podcast. Here, we will talk about, highlight, and read aloud from our monthly school newsletter. We will do our best to touch on everything, but make sure to go to www.svsu.org to view the entire newsletter. Let's jump right in. The best of what's around. The Southwest Vermont Supervisory Union held its annual Community Collaboration Night on Monday, December 4th. This event allowed guests to review SVSU data, helping to plan for next steps for state and federal grants and the annual SVSU data inventory, which is linked to the SVSU Continuous Improvement Plan goals. The grants that were reviewed included ARP ESSER, Title I and II, Title IV, IDEA B, IDEA Pre-K, and the Nita M. Lowy 21st Century Community Learning Centers grant. There were also stations to review comprehensive supports, student growth, and achievement data used to draft goals for the 2024-2027 Continuous Improvement Plan to address identified needs. The event supported small conversations at various tables set up with relevant information and artifacts. We received thoughtful feedback from our guests who represented community organizations about what programs were doing well and how we can improve moving forward. The SVSU would like to extend a warm thanks to all of the community members who joined us for the evening. If you were able to attend but have feedback you would like to share, please read through the data analysis executive summary and the overviews in the last few pages of this newsletter and then submit your feedback through the community collaboration form. The Southwest Vermont Supervisory Union is committed to developing lifelong learners who contribute to their community and succeed in a diverse and evolving global society. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree, has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I brewed. Dust of Snow by Robert Frost. Calendar update. The last day of school before winter break will be December 21. Staff will return on January 2nd for an, a professional learning day. Students will return on January 3rd. There will be no school on January 15th for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Go to www.svsu.org to view the full school year calendar. New staff, Dan Perry, board certified behavior analyst for Pownall, Molly Stark, and Mount Anthony Union Middle School. Dan Perry is one of the new board certified behavior analysts for the SVSU. As a BCBA, Mr. Perry works with students, families, and other staff to help students who have difficult or challenging behaviors. We identify the strategies to replace challenging behaviors, he said, noting that his role is one piece of support in the process of harm reduction. Mr. Perry has been a BCBA for about five years. He has worked at a school before, but more recently worked in home-based clinical support. He decided to make the switch back to school, getting to gain more regular hours. The job is rewarding, though often challenging. I like working with the kids and collaborating with others, he said. I really enjoy the data-driven approach that we work with. I guess you could say I'm into numbers and helping others. Mr. Perry grew up in Massachusetts and now lives in New York with his family. He received his BCBA certificate from Regis College and his undergraduate and graduate degrees from the University of Massachusetts, Boston. Mr. Perry enjoys spending time with his kids. In his free time, he enjoys playing video games or enjoying the great outdoors. Health information. COVID-19 update. COVID-19 tests, um, when available, are offered to students or staff who are ill or who have been exposed to COVID-19. In-school testing will not be available. Students and staff should follow Vermont Department of Health guidance. School nurses will use clinical judgment and discretion to determine if a student is well enough to remain in school. All students and staff are expected to follow the communicable disease policy. If a student or staff member is not well enough to learn or participate, regardless of whether they have tested for COVID-19, they should um, be sent home from school. Anyone who is being sent home due to illness may be required to wear a mask while awaiting pickup. A student or staff member may return to school if their symptoms have improved and they meet criteria for their illness. 
COVID-19 testing should not be required for students or staff to return to school. All students and staff are encouraged to keep their COVID-19 and other immunizations up to date. COVID-19 tests are available for pickup from the Vermont Department of Health in Bennington, and every home in the U.S. is eligible to order an additional four free at-home tests through the covid.gov website. If you do not order these tests in the fall, you may place two orders now for a total of eight tests. Activity restrictions. If a student receives a note from a medical provider restricting them from participation in PE class, this will also apply to recess and other school-related activities or sports. A note from a medical provider is required to clear the student to return to activity. Free Narcan. Naloxone, or Narcan, is a medication that can reverse an overdose caused by an opioid drug, such as prescription pain medication or heroin. When administered during an overdose, naloxone blocks the effects of opioids on the brain and restores breathing within two to eight minutes. The Vermont Department of Health has a free program to get Narcan mailed directly to your home. Fentanyl test strips are included with the order. Xalazine test strips will be added at a later date. Internet food and healthcare resources. For information on the Affordable Connectivity Program, call 1-877-384-2575. There are food bank resources available through the Bennington County Food Resource website, and Southwestern Vermont Medical Center has a financial assistance program for health care. Update information to make sure you know about snow days. Do we have your most current information? It's important to keep your school updated with current contact information, including home address. Call your school's front office for information on how to update. Newsletter alternatives. If you know of a family who may need a hard copy of the SVSU monthly newsletter, please contact me, Katie West, at katie.west at svsu.org, or you can give me a call at 802-753-5827. And please remember that our podcast is, or our newsletter is available in many different forms. There's the hard copy, there's this podcast that you're listening to right now that's available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. And then we also have a plain text version that can a little bit more easily be read by a screen reader if that is your preference or somebody you know's preference. Wednesday opportunities for students. In the coming months, we will be featuring community opportunities for learners. If you become aware of an opportunity, please feel free to email me, Katie West, katie.west at svsu.org to get it added to the next newsletter. So we have the Bennington Marauders, and that is a swim team for young swimmers age two to 19. They practice Monday through Friday. There is a cost for a 12-week session, it's about $125. You can contact BenningtonMarauders at gmail.com for more information. There are also several opportunities at the Bennington Y. There are will be a safety around water camp, a basketball skills sports camp, um, and a couple other opportunities. So you can go to the Bennington Y's website for more information. If you have any questions about the basketball camp specifically, you can email Damon Young at damonyoung at bfymca.org. Mental health resources. Winter months often mean shorter daylight hours and less time outside. During these periods of time, it's important to focus on taking care of ourselves and our children, supporting self-care and managing stress. There are a bunch of opportunities or a bunch of resources here that might be helpful. A lot of them are articles and links, so you can find those on svsu.org, but they have to do with boundary setting and healthy habits and and how to prioritize self-care and mental health. We also have resources for local crisis uh, resources, and that is the UCS crisis hotline with the number 802-442-5491. And then there is Youth-Related Crisis Family Emergency Services at 802-442-1700. All right, so next we have that community collaboration update that I mentioned right at the beginning. 
This is several pages of stuff for me to read, but I will do my best. And again, if you want a hard copy or a, a digital copy, you can find the, the digital on our website. Or if you need a paper copy, just reach out to me, Katie West, and I will get it to you. So the following information is snippets from the material that was available at the Community Collaboration Night. Now I will read the, the draft 2024-2027 SVSU Continuous Improvement Plan goals. So the draft ELA goal is by June 2027, 65% of learners exiting third grade will be proficient in ELA foundation skills. By June 2027, 60% of third through 10th grade students will meet or exceed the reading standards linked to the SVSU reading curriculum and demonstrated by spring 2027 NWEA MAPS RIT score of 60% using the achievement status and growth summary with quadrant chart. By June 2027, SVSU will close the gap in performance between historically marginalized and historically privileged students as measured by rating of meeting by the Vermont Agency of Education annual snapshot. Draft of safe and healthy goals for 2024-2027. By June 2027, all schools will have high fidelity rates, 80% or higher, of universal implementation efforts as evident through the treatment integrity slash social validity survey. Um, at least 70% of students will be responding successfully to primary prevention efforts as evident by SRSS, IE, and behavioral data. By June 2027, the SVSU will have a documented and implemented system in place for progress monitoring students receiving more intensive social emotional learning or behavior interventions and supports. Draft of math goals for 2024-2027. By June 2027, 60% of second through 10th grade students will meet or exceed the mathematics standards linked to the SVSU math curriculum and demonstrated by spring 2027 NWEA MAPS RIT scores of 60% using the achievement status and growth summary with quadrant chart. By June 2027, SVSU will close the gap in per performance between historically marginalized and historically privileged students as measured by rating of meeting by the Vermont Agency of Education's annual snapshot. Draft of science goals for 2024-2027. By June 2027, all SVSU students will match the state average in all science domains for current performance linked to the SVSU science curriculum and demonstrated by spring 2027, Vermont Science Assessment aligned with the next generation science standards. By June 2027, all SVSU students will match the state average in all science domains for performance change linked to the SVSU science curriculum and demonstrated by spring 2027 Vermont science assessment aligned with the next generation science standards. Draft of personalization goal for 2024-2027. 60% of students in grades 7 through 12 will have a personalized learning plan that provides evidence of at least one of the five essential attributes of personalized learning by spring 2027. All right, now we'll switch to comprehensive supports for 2023 to 2026. For SVSU schools, Pownall, Molly Stark, Bennington, and Mount Anthony Union Middle School, have been identified by the Agency of Education to receive comprehensive supports through the 2025-2026 school year to support increased academic proficiency in the areas of English language arts and math. The identification has made, was made through a comparison of SBAC summative data from school year 2018 to 2019 and school year 2021 to 2022. 2023-2024 allocations from the school improvement funds for Pownall Elementary is $168,379.71. Mount Anthony Union Middle School is $325,556.13. Molly Stark is $255,423.61. And Bennington Elementary is $200,212.91. All of that is totaling $949,752.36. 
Next school year's allocations will be based on an updated school enrollment numbers. Each school will use their Title I school-wide action plans to develop annually and directly linked to the continuous improvement plans to identify targeted action steps. SPSU Data Inventory. All supervisory unions must complete and submit a data inventory an annually along with their continuous improvement plan. Academic Proficiency. English Language Arts SVSU Continuous Improvement Plan Goal Number 2. Math SVSU Continuous Improvement Plan Goal Number 3. Science SVSU Continuous Improvement Plan Goal Number 4. Personalization is the SVSU Continuous Improvement Plan Goal Number 5 and Safe and Healthy Schools is SVSU Continuous Improvement Plan Goal Number 1. Title V Grant Funding. Southwest Vermont Supervisory Union has and will receive funding through the Consolidated Federal Programs. Title IV Part A Student Support and Academic Enrichment is to provide a well-rounded education, improve school conditions for school learning, and promote the effective use of technology in supporting academic achievement and digital literacy of all students. The total SVSU allocation for 2023-2024 is $5,221,214. Idea B and Idea Pre-K grant funding. Southwest Vermont Supervisory Union has and will receive funding through the Individuals with Disabilities Act to support the provisions of services for learners with identified disabilities. The total SVSU allocation is $1,559,845. The 21st Century Community Learning Center's grant application process. The SVSU is applying for this grant through the Agency of Education. The Nita M. Lowey 21st Century Community Learners Center's program has been funding high quality after school and summer learning programs since 1998. Poverty, opportunity gaps, and unmet academic needs drive the program's purpose. The goal is collaboration with key community partners, um, and the SVSU is excited to submit the application to develop and provide high quality and equitable after school and summer learning opportunities. Title I and II grant funding. The SVSU has and will receive funding through the Consolidated Federal Programs, Title I, Part A, Improving the Academic Achievement of the Disadvantaged, and Title II, Part A, Supporting Effective Instruction. The title allocation for 2023-2024 is $5,221,214. Schoolwide designation threshold is 40% low income. ESSER grant funding. The SVSU has received funding through the Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Fund, which is ESSER. ESSER funds are distributed in three allocations coming from three different acts. ESSER 3 expires on 9-30-2024 with 20% set aside to address learning loss. The SVSU allocation is $17,005,328. ARP ESSER Homeless. SVSU um, has received funding through ARP ESSER, ARP Homeless 2 funds for the purpose of identifying homeless children and youth, providing wraparound services in light of the challenges of COVID-19, and providing assistance needed to enable students experiencing homelessness to attend school and participate fully in school activities. The total SVSU allocation is $136,322.13. Right. So thank you so much for listening to the SVSU monthly podcast. For more information and to read through some of that more denser material at the end, go to our website. That's svsu.org. You can give us a call at 802-447-0475, or you can even stop into our central office at 184 North Street, Suite 1, Bennington, Vermont. Like us on Facebook, um, follow this podcast on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to me, Katie West, the SBSU Public Information Coordinator. My email is katie.west at gmail.com. Thank you.